Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'll be going out for a quick lunch and then I'll take you guys to a French leather handbag store called Polen. Just quickly on my outfit before we head out, I am wearing on the inside a dress from Roland Murray and a cardigan from Eric Bompard. And I have here a mini handbag from Lanchon. I have um, wrapped handles in twillies. My colorful scarf here is from the brand Etro, and my winter coat here is from the brand The Curated. I'm going out now, stay tuned. Here's our itinerary. We'll start at the Palais Royal Metro Station, walk up alongside the garden, stop at Baguette's Cafe for a quick lunch, and then end up at Pollen. I'm here at Place Colette, which is right outside the Metro Station, Palais Royal. And wow, what a beautiful day it is today for January in Paris. It is highly unusual. You guys are very lucky. And here we have a cafe which might look familiar to you because it is frequently featured in movies. Maybe that's why there's a line to get in. And here on the left in this beautiful building is the Comédie Française. It is a theater company. And if your French is good enough, you might want to check out some of their plays. I myself cannot understand any of it. Here, Cafe Kitsune is a great place to stop by for a quick coffee or tea if you're in the area. This area is also home to many of the Japanese ramen places that are very, very popular, including this one called Kodawali. We've arrived at the Baguettes Cafe. So this is more of a um, cafe slash uh, breakfast or light brunch place with um, small plates and uh, drinks and pastries but I thought it was pretty cute so decided to check it out they are quite famous for their avocado toast but I think I'll be getting their lunch menu the coquillette and their hot detox looks pretty interesting My drink came pretty quickly, so this hot detox is made of lemon juice, ginger, honey, and what they call a golden milk mix, which I suspect have a bit of um, turmeric in it. Mmm, it is packed with good stuff. So this dish is called the coquillette. It's sort of like a French version of macaroni and cheese, but with um, better cheese. It tastes as good as it looks, um, though the portion is kind of small, but like I said, this is more of a light brunch kind of place. We've arrived at Polen, and as you can see, there is a line to get in. So this brand has been immensely popular amongst Parisians in the past few years, and Recently, it's been gaining awareness amongst the international handbag community very, very quickly. Ooh, I love this color. So I love how their designs are really cute and refreshingly different from other brands. And they're always in these really nice feminine shades of pastel colors. This bag here is seen everywhere in Paris. And 
And this little bucket bag is also very popular. And this opening might feel a little bit rigid and it might take some time to get used to getting things in and out of your bag. And also to note that the inside is unlined. But it looks completely cute and this color is just so gorgeous. works very well as a crossbody as well. And this bag is my favorite and it's what I came in to check out. There are two shades of pink and this is the lighter one and it's called Dune. And this is the medium or bigger size and there is a mini size but they don't have the display in the store. I don't know if it's me or it looks almost comically big on me when I wear it like that. And I'm not super short. I'm 5'6 and a half or 169 centimeters. Yeah, definitely comically big. They also have the um, darker shade of pink on display also in the bigger size and this shade is called blush and I can't really decide which shade of pink is nicer. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think. Though I do wish this bag comes with legs at the bottom because as you can see the sides at the bottom can get scuffed if you put it down on the floor or just table surfaces too often. But overall, the leather feels really good and it feels really well constructed. I finally found the mini size to try on, although not in a color that I would be interested in. Though this yellow actually pops quite nicely on pictures, so maybe it is a nicer color than I would have thought. And yes, this size works a lot better on my frame. I think this is all you need. And the inside of this bag is lined with fabric. I'm really loving this yellow color the more I look at it. Though on the website, they also have a taupe cutter, which I would really love to try. They've got some mini bags here. This is a belt bag. This one here is pretty interesting as well. It's in a smooth leather and the construct is pretty unique. The inside is fully lined with leather and there is a tiny pouch as well. This is sort of like a kidney shaped bag and it's super cute. The leather feels really, really good as well. And I like how they have this magnetic um, opening I think this would be a pretty practical kind of bag and something that you can just grab and go on a day-to-day -day basis. Mm -hmm. 
works super well on the crossbody as well. The shape just kind of curves to your body. And I am thinking that this would be a great airport bag, you know, to put your um, phone, boarding pass, and um, passport inside, and it's easy to get them in and out. The inside is now completely lined and may need some protection from getting dirty. This is a very refreshing color. It's the one I saw when I just came into the store. What do you think? Which color do you like and which style do you like best? Let me know in the comment section down below. And as usual, if you like these types of contents, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and like my videos. This will help me produce more videos like these for you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.